girl Lindor. You are now tuned into the tip. Shouts out to Rise Up Family, Andre Robinson. We got Piffy Trillums in the building. Uh, what up, what up, and we what up. got Wavy Jones. Thank you guys so oh, much you. for coming in. Thank you. Oh my God. You. Yes, yeah, yes, I appreciate you. you. Yes, yes, yes. And we also have, oh, I shot your man out. Kirk, man. Salute Kirk, man. My yeah. camera man for years, Kirk Johnson. Oh, you are ready. God. Yes, thank you so much. And we go so way back. Absolutely. Oh my God, Talk about OHM it. days. OHM days. But before oh, yeah. we go into the interview oh, yeah. and we talk about our few topics, um, we always give a tip in the beginning. Um, I'll start y'all off. Okay, cool. okay. My tip is conversate with your children. Conversate with your children, man. Yeah coming from school and stuff. Um, me conversating with my kids and asking them how their day went and if anything was going on, you know, in school with peers and everything else. We always have this conversation before we go on to having dinner and everything else. It's really, really important to allow your children to open up to you because you learn so much, you know, as far as, um, you know, the, uh, the different um, relationships that they have with their friends. They might want to ask you advice on how to, you know, direct a person or, or the approach or whatever. And that, uh, we're going to go ahead and counteract off of my tip to talk about school bullying because that's still very valid and very prudent in schools now nowadays. And it's crazy. And it's even more so with the Internet bullying. So it's like, oh, my God. It's like it's just a never-ending story. And it's like, you know, we got to resolve that issue, and we got to be able to install in our children on how to react to those situations and what it is that they need to do and, and results in those situations. So my tip for the week, yeah, make it very short and simple, conversate with your children, and, uh, man, talk about what goes on in school with the kids. What about yours? Um, does it have to pertain to that? Uh, no, 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 no. You can get what it's um, I mean, my tip would be... Uh, Make yourself available, you know what I'm saying? Network as much as you can. Um, believe in yourself as much as you can because if you don't believe in yourself, nobody will. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's, right. Right. That's my tip. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right. What about you, um, Wavy Jones? Wavy Jones, I mean, Waverly Jones, that's the name. Yeah. Waverly Jones. Everybody call me Wavy, but uh, my tip is don't stop grinding. Don't stop hustling, you know what I mean? Don't limit yourself to one hustle. And I ain't saying illegally, I'm saying legally, you know what I mean? There's so many things out here that people can do, you know what I mean, to take themselves further, you know what I mean? Hobbies, crafts, things like that. People don't know that, you know what I mean? You got a gift. You just ain't probably unlocked it yet, you know what I mean? But my tip is don't stop. There's so many people that are quick to give up. And, you know, the next day or the next week might be your week. You know, you might blow. But if you gave up that day, who, who's to say, you know what I mean, what's to happen next? So. Don't stop, man. The marathon continues, like Nip said, man. We're going to keep this going. So. Yeah, yeah, that's what it's all about, man. Keeping it going mm -hmm. and keeping your dreams alive. And I appreciate y'all once again for coming out mm -hmm. and showing your love to the tip. Um, we're going to go ahead and go right in, and we have a few announcements, and then go into the beautiful interview with Mr. Piffy Churlums. You know what I'm saying? Um, wanted to talk about uh, Frank Lucas. He was the actual infamous drug kingpin whose life story was depicted in the film of American Gangster. He passed away today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, age wow. 88. Man. He passed away today. And the, and the crazy thing about his story was he was a drug dealer, but he was also known as a snitch. You know what I'm saying? Oh, wow. But he snitched on the police. That was, you know, robbing him, basically. So, in the same sense, it's like. Yeah, he get his clout because he was such a notorious gangster, but at the same time, it's like you still labeled as a snitch, you know what I mean? So, you know how that go in the streets, you know what I mean? You can't never tell. It don't matter, you know what I mean? Right. You just you hold right. it down, but right. back in them days, I guess it was I guess it was cool. Oh, you know wow, wow, wow. So, I'm going to go ahead and read y'all article, and then I'm going to get y'all input on that, you know, how you feel about that. Um, I, I, unfortunately, I cannot, I'm not going to lie to y'all, I did not have the opportunity to watch American Gangster, but I'm pretty right. sure, wait, I know you are. Oh, oh, man. Oh, that's a classic. You're not a Denzel fan. Why, why, why. I probably, <laughs> you got to see that. Watch it tonight. Watch it tonight. Watch it tonight. Watch okay. it tonight. I had to show them away my face because y'all just <laughs> made me feel bad. Oh, man. Well, no, I'm not. I'm taking some black points real. away. I did. I put some black points away. Oh, man. I should have kept my mouth. I talk too much indoor. Talk too much 
talk too much. But no, um, I really don't. I probably seen a couple scenes, but I'm not like, oh yeah, I was just sitting there just. Well, I'm not really. I ain't gonna front. Not into those type of movies. My movies more or less like science fiction, horror. Okay. If you give me horror, I'm good. Oh, okay. Um, they, I can watch horror movies. Right. I'm, I'm good at horror. But, <laughs> right, right. Well, um, Frank Lucas is the infamous drug kingpin whose life story was to visit an American gangster film. Um, he died Thursday night en route to New Jersey Hospital for an unknown illness. He was 88. Um, he was born and raised in North Carolina. Uh, moving to New York City, where he eventually got into the drug trade, cutting into the Italian mafia's business and carving a name for himself. Lucas bragged his heroin was among the purest on the streets. Um, he infamously dubbed his product Blue Magic. While he was at the top of the New York City drug trade, Frank robbed el robbed, rubbed elbows with elites from Hollywood's politics and the business world. Frank was finally busted in the mid-1970s and all of his enormous assets and wealth were seized. Lucas owned property across the country in Chicago, Miami, Detroit, New York, New Jersey, and North Carolina, and even Puerto Rico. Wow, he was really, really known for that. Blue magic. Wow. <laughs> wow. wow. When the DEA raided Frank, Frank's, Jersey, Frank's New Jersey home in 1975, agents found more than five hundred and eighty four thousand dollars in cash he was convicted of federal and state drug violations and sentenced to 70 years in prison lucas ratted out others in the drug business and he and his family entered a witness protection program after five years in custody frank had had his sentence reduced to time served plus lifetime parole but he was later busted for drug dealing again and spent another seven years behind bars before being released in 1991. He is survived by seven children, and uh, man, we give our love and our condolences to the Lucas family. So, Absolutely. Um, mm -hmm. since y'all know so much, okay, go ahead and elaborate a little bit about the uh, American Gangster story. Let, let me know what I, what I need to know. Well, if you ain't heard Jay Z album American Gangster, then you really missing out on something. So, if you ain't heard that album yet? Yes, I have. Okay. Oh my God, does he put me on the spot? He really just, is. I'm just asking. That, that's the, <laughs> No. I was asking, you know, that's the soundtrack to the to the life story. Uh, basically, you know, Jay Z, you know, really told that whole story of him. You know, what I mean, living through that same situation growing up. You know, what I mean, hustling. But you know, Frank Lucas, he he just happened to come across a great situation at a great time. You know, back in the right. days, it wasn't a lot of surveillance and it wasn't a lot of uh, high tech security like it is now. Right, right. That wouldn't have happened nowadays. You know, what I'm saying what he did or he accomplished, it wouldn't have happened now. And plus, we had a president back then that, you know, let everything fly in anyway. So. Right, right. <laughs> what about you? Well, me, me personally, um, it touched home for me because he did a lot of uh, hustling in my hometown in Harlem. You know what I'm saying? So, shouts I, out to Harlem. You already, you already, you already. <laughs> but um, you know, it, it was a, it was a big influence for you know the whole Harlem. You know, everybody just for hustlers in general. You know what I'm saying? And for the record, all of these gangsters y'all look up to, all of them snitch. You know what I'm saying? So it ain't really, it ain't really only one that I know in of my research, I'm, I'm an 80s baby, but of my research, the only one that I know that didn't snitch or get caught was Frank Matthews. So y'all do y'all research on that. But otherwise, everybody else, you know, has fell up under the system and, you know, told or whatever. Not to condone that, that's not cool, whatever, but it is what it he is. Didn't go, part of he the, didn't go against the street code. part of the game. But like right. I said, he had that blue magic. You know, he was doing it real big. He was talking over a million dollars a day. You know wow. what I'm saying? So he really took hustling to a whole nother level. You know what I'm wow. saying? So wow. rest in peace. And it was basically, respect. wow. And it was basically, I guess, due to the fact of him supplying the celebrities and business. Absolutely. You know, it, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. You know, you try to, you know, um, educate your children to get a better, a better education mm -hmm. and a, you know, to succeed in their lives and stuff like that. But there come uh, for every decision, there come consequences, and it's it's crazy that you know you get in that limelight or you get in that particular role of being around those big business executives and stuff. You'd be surprised at what you learn that's going on at the parties, yeah, yeah. these rooftop parties or these yeah. hotels. You know, you know. Um, well, he got caught up in a, he got caught up in a boxing match. That's what messed him up. Mm. See, he, you know, back in them times, especially, you know, um, even now, still a lot of racism, racist things going on. But what happened was he went to a boxing match, 
and he had a full limb chinchilla fur on, and the black man having a full limb chinchilla fur, and his and his girl, real. and his girl had one. It was, it was already on watch. So it was <laughs> just guy. already on watch. Who is this guy? Wait a minute. You know <laughs> He's standing saying? out too. You know what I mean? I, okay. You know, you know, I'm mean, eating cheeseburgers and he's eating lobster and steak, so you know how that go. Wow, so they hated on him because they like, wait a minute, who are you? Really, mm -hmm. really? Yeah. And then you had a lot of dirty cops back then, even though until today. Yeah. So they probably was at the party or at the boxing joint, like, yeah. wait a minute, we're going to go ahead and put it. It was, it was perfect time, and he was already under surveillance. He was already under watch. Mm -hmm. So wow. when that chinchilla just brought it all in, oh, yeah. he him. brought too much attention to himself. Exactly. I mean, but yeah. nowadays, who ain't doing the same thing? If you see right, a lucky right, you coming here with you looking like who, who's in that car? Who, you know what I mean? Yeah, you want to right. you want to see what's going on? So that's right. That's I right. wish it was winter time. I would have came in here with a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, man. I love furs. I love yeah. furs. Man, that's crazy. But you know. Um, Man, it's, it's a crazy world we live in, you know, and um, like I said before, condolences mm. to the Lucas absolutely, family, you know, don't, you know, he a human being at the end of the day, regardless of the life that he lived and, um, you know, the family, you know, we send our love and our condolences to you. Mm -hmm. So, uh, go on here, we're going to go ahead and talk about school bullying. Mm -hmm. I'm going to talk about our next topic, school bullying, you know, what is your input, Piff, on you know, school bullying? Um, How do you think that we could stop, you know, the bullying in school and internet bullying? That's that's a whole nother level. Well, my thing is, and a lot of people might not like my answer, but I feel like, you know, when it comes to just bullying in general, one is not cool, but two, we all have to take responsibility in whatever role that we play in that school bullying. So if you have a kid that's getting bullied and you teach them properly how to deal with it, it shouldn't be as big of a problem as it is right now. Basically what I'm saying is every kid don't have to be a fighter, every kid don't have to be a thug, every kid don't have to you know, be none of that. But I feel that at some point of a kid's life, you should be able to stand up to yourself because like we just said, we're just talking about snitching, right? Right. right. So that's what leads to that. Mm -hmm. These people, these kids that get bullied all their life, that's what happens when they get older because they're taught to tell every time they're in a situation. Mm -hmm. This person messing with me. This person messing with me. Mm -hmm. I'm taught to do that. I'm taught to tell you that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I feel Rather like. Than handle it, yeah, than I, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm on the fence with that. But at the same time, you know, I feel like once once it's noticed, mm -hmm. it, it should, something should be done about it immediately. The parents should get together and talk. Not these kids or not. Let my principal talk to my kid. No, the, the kid of that parent and the kid of this parent should get together and talk about that. Yeah, sure. And they should resolve that. Right, right. It should be like that. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately... Unfortunately, it's not. <laughs> you know, it's right, not, right, right, right. right. So I guess, I guess you act accordingly to every situation mm -hmm. that you possibly can. What about yourself? Well, what do you I mean, I, I, I'm the same way in a sense. You know what I mean? I'm, I try to be a total positive person, but, um, you know, where I'm from, I was born in the 80s. You know what I'm saying? 83. So we all I, 83. I, I, I ain't scared to share my age. I look good for my age. We all do. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, um, but, you know, we was taught to, man, get in the grass and get dirty. You know what I'm saying? You, you can't run from it all your life. You know what I mean? There wasn't no bullying in our day. You know what I mean? You can't run from it all your life. But, you know, the significance of things that's going on now is the fact that um, kids ain't playing fair. You know what I mean? They ain't no, even throwing punches. Not. They, they, you know, they come with, with guns right, early, right, and it's not even right. that serious. It's over some, you know, something that we would have fought back in the days for. You, you stepped on my sneaker, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Now they, they killing you over stepping on your sneaker. But even more than that, they so scary, they, they come with a thousand people for one person, you know what I mean? And it's, right. It, it's like, you know. But not I what, think it's more of a scenery thing when that happens. It's like, oh, we got to have witness nah. of, of our clout type thing or whatever. And then they put it all on video to, yeah, for humiliation you know. and to see who, who, what. To keep and that's it crazy, ready. too. That's right. crazy, too, because that's, that's part of the blame. Because as much as you video in this fight, you can stop it, too. Right, right, right. You, 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 you just, in, you just in, um, in the wrong as the next person. Well, you, know, you know what I'm saying? These kids want to you know, chase clout by getting their you know, so-called uh, hoods or whatever, you know, names. All you're doing is jumping kids. You ain't really, you know what I mean, getting right. a fair one. You don't really want to catch a fade. Right. But, um, you know, it, only, it don't even stem to that because, like you were saying about bull bullying, it don't matter just in school or outside of school, even at home, like you said. You know what I mean? I had a situation with a family member of mine where he was getting cybernet bullied. 
And I'm wow. like, how is you getting internet cybernetic bully? You know what I mean? Yeah, you ain't even face to face. Yeah, you ain't even face to face. You allowing this person to do that. Like, you have the option to block them, mute them, and everything, but you consistently want to sit here and take it. So it's, it's, it's got to be something, you know, you want out of this situation. Do you like to be, uh, you know what I mean, looked upon as, as, as you know, as, you know, being bullied or whatever? You know, you know what? I don't know. I don't get it. I, we was taught to, you know, handle it or... Or just forget about it, you know what I mean? Especially in the cybernetic bullying. It, right. it don't make no sense. Right. I mean, you even have children who go so far as opposed to committing suicide behind it. Yeah. And you be like, whoa. And you, you never you even seen the kid. You never right. even met this kid. Right. And just every time you playing a game, he, he, he killing you. Man, that happened when you play the computer. But then that, <laughs> that comes into what you were saying. Talk to your kids more. Right. That kid that's getting bullied, that parent might not ask them how they day was. A parent right. might not care about it's what's going home. on or why they sitting in the room two, three hours. Or, you know what I'm saying? That's where it comes in at. You got to know. You got to get on your kid's nerve. I know I will. I got one on the way. Baby girl on the way. I'm going to get on her names every day because I'm, I'm on it. Right. I'm on it. That's a fact. You That's right. definitely got to be on it. Yeah. And, it. and it's good to be conversating with these children. And I guess, you know, I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. And, you know, it's like, I guess it's basically judging the situation accordingly because each situation is different. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Don't get me wrong. You don't want your kids to grow up and be known as a snitch or nothing like that. But at the same time, you know, you also, it's crazy because of the environment that we live in. You also got to teach the kids how to judge the situation accordingly to whether or not if I handle it myself mm -hmm. or do I go through this or whatever. But like I said, you know, with what situation that had happened with my child, um, she was getting bullied, name called or whatever. She brought it to the teacher's attention. And and because of her getting so fed up and it built built, built up in her, you know, if, she, if I wasn't conversating with my daughter, I would not have known. And I probably would have uh, treated the situation a little bit more harshly. Right. But I didn't. I was a little bit lenient on behalf of my daughter because she brought it to my attention. She let me know ahead of time, like, yo, mom, you know, the girl keep calling me names. She keep on doing this, doing that. And then when I found out about the situation and prior to that, that, the actual um, uh, 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 principal mm -hmm. had a meeting with them prior to the incident oh. of her getting suspended. It's like, wow, so this been going on for a short. Okay, now I need to meet your moms. You know what I'm saying? But happened with my daughter being suspended, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm sorry. I mean, it sound bad when I say this. But it's like, okay, you done got suspended. I would have probably thought. If you, know, if you knew you was going to get suspended, you should have laid hands. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because there's some children that you have to lay hands on. It's so sad. But, but that's what I'm saying. At the same time, it's like, that's in school. They're going to try to handle it in school. But what do you do outside of school? Right. When I mean, you got that kid at the block that, you know what I mean, his parents ain't even around all like that. Where his parents don't even care. You know what I'm saying? What do you right. do then? You know what I mean? You take it to the street. You got you to gotta get dirty. Because even growing up in life, like I tell my daughter, you know what I'm saying? My daughter 13. I tell her, you know what I mean? You, you, you gotta judge your you gotta judge your battles, you know what I'm saying? Right. And I ain't saying being scared or running or nothing like that, but if you know this person got a weapon or you outnumbered, you can fight you can live to fight another day. You don't gotta smart. you ain't gotta be right, crazy, right, right. Be you know what I mean? Choose your battles, yeah. right? Yeah. And it's, it's nothing wrong with, you know, alerting um a teacher or alerting a parent or alerting an adult. Mm -hmm. But like you said, <laughs> If you knew you was going to be suspended, you should have done what you did yeah, anyway. You gotta you know get to it. But it's it's hard to it's hard to deal with that as a kid because she's just thinking, yo, let me do the right thing. Mm -hmm. Right, 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 right. Because right. I know mommy to, gonna be on yeah, my butt. Or but I'm, but I'm trying butt. to do the right thing, but this person's making it hard for me to do the right thing. Right, right, right. But at the same time, these kids ain't never been in no fights. Right. That's like, what? That too. Yeah, that they too. be going on all hard because of these um because of these um, lifetime little mm -hmm. pre-shows, love, love and hip hop, yeah, music yeah, videos, yeah, yeah, and these, yeah. it's like, oh, I'm gonna try to mimic the same thing. No, no, this is reality, baby it's girl. And you got some kids mm -hmm. that sit up here and they using weapons, and then you got the school shootings where all of that results of them eventually going to college and something snapped, they didn't develop PS, uh, you know, post-traumatic yeah, yeah. stress, and now they want to grab a gun to be doing. Uh, you know, school shootings and stuff like yeah. that because they didn't been bullied all they like, like you were saying. Right. They they brought up to treat uh, situations properly. Then the minute you know something didn't get handled or they got reprimanded, you know, in a bad way, where they got accused and not the person that got bu actually bullied them, 
you know, got reprimanded the right way. Yeah. Now it's oh, it all on me. They get fed up. All that frustration build up. Next thing you know, they 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 are pre adult. Now they sitting up here like, yo, I'm gonna handle it the way I know. Mm -hmm. I wanna see fit. Then he got all that built up anger, didn't have no counseling, didn't have no parent, probably at home counseling them, talking to them, mm -hmm. asking them what's going on. Now next thing you know, they sitting up here doing all that crazy mess where they shooting and killing off the students. Just because of one person saying one word wrong. Yeah, that's how it be. You know, it's unfortunate, you know, a friend of mine got a, is in a situation just like that, you know what I mean? But it's street. You know what I mean? Some dudes on the corner, you know, bothering him and stuff. He brought it to his pop's attention. You know what I mean? His pop said he was going to handle it, but before he could even handle it, you know what I mean? The young man went back, you know, just going to school with whatever he was doing. You know what I mean? Had a gun on him, shot out of his pocket, killed the boy. You know what I mean? So now he gone, that boy gone. Oh, Everything wow. don't make sense, you know what I'm saying? But wow. and that's just what I'm saying. Bullying. You got the kids nowadays. Be it ain't like, uh, like it was when we was younger, where they was just straight up beefing. We gonna put hand in hands. No, he fight. using weapons. So it's like, oh my god, mm -hmm. how far, you know, how much do you teach a child, or how far do you know when to really stop the situation and when to intervene and when not to? And then you got even parents even throwing guns, got knives, and, and now they beefing and all that other stuff. You it's know? crazy. It's, it, crazy. it's really out of hand. It's really out of hand. Well, the topic that we were just talking about was um, the school bullying and, you know, um, all the situations that occur with school bullying. The number to call in is 716-300-2170. Phone lines are open if you have any questions in reference to that. You know, let us know what you think. My Facebook Live Natalie Indoor Brooks, you know, let us know what you think about the uh, school bullying, how we could stop it, prevent it, you know, certain situations and everything. I appreciate Piff, uh, you know what I'm saying, Waverly Jones coming out, you know what I'm saying, shouts out to the cameraman, what's his name again? Kirk. Kirk, 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 Kirk sorry, I'm bad with names, had a long day. Um, man, you know, let us know what you think. The number to call in is 716 -300 -2170. And now I'm going to go ahead. Um, we got a few announcements. They got the Black Film Festival happening June 15th at the Meriwether uh, Public Library, 1324 Jefferson Avenue. It starts at 3.30 in the auditorium. You can hit up Emain, a.k.a. Sylvia Black, at 716-428-9892. Again, that is 716-428-9892. Uh, about that Black Film Festival also, too. We got the Utica Business Center grand opening. As you know, shouts out to DAP Multimedia Group. I do the midday mix with um, DAP Radio. Um, Sunday, June 9th from 2 to 6 at the Utica Business Center, 11 East Utica Street. Guest DJs, food, door prizes, and more. They also got live performances by Ace High. Shouts out to DAP Multimedia Group. Make sure you check that out. Come out, support. It's free to the public. Yeah. We're going to go ahead right into the interview of Piff Trilla. Let's go ahead and tell the people Let's about yourself. About and what it is that you do? Um, for those that don't know, I'm from Harlem. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Buffalo, my second home. Been here a while. Um, started out in this very building right here where we at. Um, wow, you know what wow. I'm saying? Uh, Street Journal was the show. Uh, Salute to Tiz. He was the uh, the host before me. Okay. Um, I like that Street Journal. Yeah, absolutely, like absolutely. Um, my man Kurt believed in me. You know, wanted to give me a shot. He ran off my personality, said I'd be a good fit for the show. Mm -hmm. So I've been hosting that. Um, we were trying to go over the dates earlier. You know okay. what I'm saying? But it was about 2009, 2010 when we started this. Man. Okay. So, okay. you know, we, we we here now almost 2020, so almost a decade, you know, I've been doing this. Um, wow, wow. You know, providing this, this format, um, mm -hmm. interviewing these artists and, you know, seeing different venues and shows and open mics. And, now you can You know what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. So now it's like, you know, it's different. It's different. I'm on the other side of the interview. So right, this, right, this right. is dope. I appreciate you for this, you know, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No you're no the, and you the third person. Uh -huh. Now I need to say this on camera. You're okay. the third person to ever interview. For real? Oh, my God. Max, Max was the first. Okay. Wavy was the second. Okay. Um, now you But he was also my first guest, too. Wow, so it's a lot crazy. of history here, Absolutely. and like you even mentioned, uh, OHM, you know what I mean? We used to shut oh it down God. at the OHM, yeah. too, yeah. you know what I mean? I know you shout out to the station. fire station, man. Yeah! That's me, that's us. Oh, that's 
Shout out to everybody from the fire station. Yes, they music. Shout out to everybody from the fire station. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. We still around. Okay. We still doing our thing. So, yeah, it's a lot of history right here at this table. Wow. Yeah, yeah, we do got a lot of history. Yeah, so go ahead. Okay, so that was the show that you was in. So, you you have a new show now, right? We still doing that. We still doing that. Okay, and what's the name of it? Uh, on your YouTube. New show we working on right now is, um, I'm doing that with Cat Rose and uh, Dylan XL. Okay, shout uh, out to Cat Rose. Shout out to Cat, shout out to Dylan, man. Okay. That's what's the word. Um, Dylan came to me with the idea, I actually met Dylan, I want to say last year, December. Okay. You know, and I guess he was already, you know, following me and looking at what I was doing, whatever. He said I'd be a good fit for the show, so that's how what's the word came about. Okay, all right. And what's the word? What What is that pertaining to? Do what's it? the word? It's basically going to be a show um, where we talk about, you know, like how, sort of like how you're doing. We talk about a lot of uh, local topics. So if it's not local um, and your mainstream, like, you know, sometimes you go on your phone and right. Google pop up. Right, right, right. Talk about certain stories that's happening so, and stuff like yeah, that. Okay, you know, okay. Right. kind of like, you know, similarities to the tip. Okay. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Okay, all right, all right. Another one. But then you get three, you get three perspectives. You know what I'm saying? Right. I say that right? Perspectives. No, I, right. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, I'm I'm like the wild card, of course. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, three different personalities. So they kind of like, as I be around them, like, you know, they we all different personalities, but they like, they're not as for the you know like I, you guys see it. That's uh, so, 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 it's, so, it's, it's, so it's so it's an interesting must... dynamic. Let me just say that. Okay, and y'all y'all do more debating more than anything. Uh, uh, I mean, we gonna, see. we gonna see. Y'all oh. gonna see. Y'all right, gonna right. see. All right. So where can they find the show at? Y'all gonna see. Um, right now, um, we're getting everything together. Okay. Um, but you can go to the like page on Facebook. Uh, what's the word? Okay. Uh, we're about to do the um, YouTube and Instagram, man. We're just getting all that together. Man. All right, all right. We cannot wait to see that show. Absolutely. I'm oh excited. I'm excited. The, the promo video, man. Shout out to uh, Jerron Quiles, man. Um, right. Shout out to him for shooting that, man. Shout out to Gio at Trend Up for letting us come through, man. I appreciate That's what's that. Up. That's what's up. Shout out to you, Giovanni. Oh, my God. Been on him for so many years. He has been such an impact to the community as well. Absolutely. He does a lot. So, man, I appreciate you so much. And Gio put me on my first red carpet, too, man. Wow. Salute to Gio, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of history. This, wow. as you said, a lot wow. of history here. Yeah, you got to come on the round table. There's a lot of people that got to come through the round table, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. I definitely can't wait to come. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 716, stand up. We here. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Got to show love. So, yeah. So, okay, you got the upcoming show. You have any new music? Any um, any new music? Any I don't. performances? <laughs> let, me, let me put this on camera. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Everybody go think I rap. I don't, I don't rap. Okay. I don't rap. I just, I'm just around. Like I'm just, it. I'm just around all the rappers. I guess I look like a rap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah if yeah. I ever decided to rap, though, y'all be in trouble. But, Ooh, you know what I'm saying? But um, now nah, I don't rap. You know what I'm saying? What you say, talk about it. Talk about as far as the music, I just wanna um, you know, everybody that I've came in contact with within these past ten years, only only get back that I ask is that I be in your video or give me a drop on your mixtape or something like that. So musically, that's all I want to involve myself. In. You know what I'm saying? Man, shout out G4 Jag. Y'all get that Survivor album, man. Shout out um, Flea Lord. Shout out AM Early, man. Y'all already know, man. Follow the Lord. All right, all right. That's great. That's great. The number to call in is 716-300-2170. We got Piffy Trillips in the building. Waverly Johnson. Waverly Jones. Jones. Oh, my God. I said Johnson. Oh, my God. I told y'all I'm sleeping. I told y'all I'm a little bit sleeping. I got to wake me up. Yeah, sure, sure. Shout out here for you. Yeah, shout out to you. Sandwich. I'm good. Okay. <laughs> yes, thank you so much for uh, uh, any upcoming projects besides the show? Um, um, besides the show, show, the next, the next, uh, the next hosting will be uh, June thirteenth. Producer Kickback, man. Shout out Ivy Rich. Um, shout out everything over there. What's going on, man? East Coast Connect. You already know, man. Trey oh, Beasy, right. man. Shout out everybody over there. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, June thirteenth. Mm -hmm. I believe it's at Stamps. Y'all look out for that. That'll be the next. I'm not hosting the event, but I'll be there with the cameras and um, I'll be doing the interviews there. Okay. Um, so shout out to ID, man. Right. Shout out Tony Boy for um, letting me host that Milky's, man. Mm -hmm. uh, so How was that event? That was, the footage is up. Okay. As they live on live, man, the footage is up. Man, my boy Wavy shut it down. I watched it earlier. Oh, it's yeah, crazy because I watched it right now. I came here. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta see the footage. You okay, know what I'm okay. Where, 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 I said 
go to YouTube. Go to YouTube. Go to uh, go to your YouTube search. Go to SJ Live Online. That's where you can see all the videos. Mm -hmm. uh, Milky's is actually uh, up right now. Um, we're gonna show y'all part two. That was part one of the movie. We're gonna show y'all part two hey, write uh, coming down. up soon. You gonna write it down oh, yeah. for me right yeah, now? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna write oh, yeah. it down. Shout out to everybody that performed that night too. Uh, Matt How Dude, was the event? Giant. The event was crazy. It was, it was awesome. Yeah. It was it was it was definitely packed. We had uh, you know people come from Rochester, Niagara Falls. Uh, as far as Jamestown as I know, it probably was further than that. But as far as I knew, further is Jamestown. Mm -hmm. But um, it was it was a solid show. I mean, the producers that that you know they play beats. Um, mm -hmm. They play beats yeah. before you know the music set, or I should say, you know the performance set. Mm -hmm. So the beats was tight. You know what I mean? And then you yeah. know what I mean. Beats everybody that came out and, and did their thing. I'm not sure the first group name. What was their names? Uh, Fire Spitters. Fire Spitters. Fire Spitters. Fire Spitters man. Man. I'm gonna get up with y'all too, man. Real Fire soon. Spitters. You know what I mean? Awesome. Also. So big salute, shout out to my brother Mac in the back, you know, the podcast phantom. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Big love, much love, you know, the round table we here, but man, man, we, went as, we went in as presidential suites. That's you know okay. the label under uh fire station or was under fire station. We still in works with that. Okay. But anyways, you know what I mean? Um yeah, it was it was it was an awesome night. You know what I mean? I thought we was gonna be the, the undercar, but we actually been the main event, it seemed like so. Okay, okay. And people so still talking awesome. about it to yeah. this day. So, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, the footage is there, it's self explanatory. You know what I mean? Check That's me what's out. Up. That's what's up. And I'm looking for artists to come on my radio show. Okay. You know, I'm starting my own television show as well. Okay. So, y'all more that. than welcome to come. Okay. Um, the radio show actually starts tomorrow. It's mm -hmm. called The Connect. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going on from 12 to 2. So, I'm looking for people to come into the and, and on the radio show, you know, not only just call through the phone, but like you coming to the station, mm -hmm. I'm interviewing you, you know what I'm saying? And um, getting the input of your music, what you got going on, you know, basically giving artists a platform like we've always been doing, you know, through mm -hmm. OHM, mm -hmm. through, you know, yeah. shouts out to, you know, uh, Roz. Roz, mm -hmm. she's yeah, a new, uh, she's a, she got a new, um, she changed the name from OHM. Okay, right, I, can't, right. I can't remember. Yeah, 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 and she's still up and running. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Sure. She do a lot of house parties and stuff like right. that. We need to be back in there. We need we need to get back in there and start right. doing more hip hop shows. Then you know I mean, right. and, and shout outs to Stamps and uh, Milkies. Yeah. And what's the other spot that let us do? You know what I mean? Show uh, Stamps, Milkies. Um, mm -hmm. shout out to um. Can't think uh, of I don't really want to shout them out because they cut us. They they they, they stopped us. They stopped us. They stopped us. Okay, go shout them out. Go shout them out. But shout out to them two man. <laughs> you know what? It's, it's not a lot of venues. They stopped that's my that's bread, this. man. I that's, ain't shouting y'all out for that's nothing. You that's you know? that's <laughs> Yeah, he don't play. Yeah, yeah. Don't play. Oh, oh yeah, I know the other spot. Back for business. Out the way. Out the way. Yeah, out the way spot. Okay, well, you know what I mean? Shout out to those but, people. Yeah, shout out to, to, to the places that is letting these hip hop venues go on. Right. Um, you know, uh, I know what you're talking about. You're talking about over there on Amherst. Yeah. Yeah. I forgot the name, but oh, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. I'm talking about um, the Falls. Oh, in the Falls. Infusion. Shout out oh, okay. to Infusion. Infusion. Yeah, shout out okay. to Infusion. It wasn't good, but shout out to Infusion. Yeah, okay. whatever. Okay. You know. okay. No. All right. <laughs> yeah, because we need that, man. We need that. It's, it's yeah, sour. You, right. It, I mean, don't get me wrong. You know, there's always a bias against hip hop shows and stuff like that. Basically, the violence that come along with it, how it fuels the um, how it fuels the audience and stuff like that because of the musical content that's being distributed. But I'm I'm pretty sure with what's going on and how you know um, Buffalo City, you know, um, police officers and stuff is really you know, tying down on the events and what's supposed to occur and up in the security systems and stuff like that when these events are occurring, I'm pretty sure people getting a hint, hey, if we don't stop showing our butts and not doing right by these shows, you know what I'm saying, and, and acting a fool, you know, we'll have more hip-hop shows and stuff like that because everybody, the thing is, is that as an artist, we have to be allowed to be able to express ourselves creatively and freely, right, right. okay? And being subjected to one thing where it's like, okay, yeah, we just gonna do country. I don't do country. I don't. I wasn't brought up on no country. I don't, right. you know, live country. Right. So my thing is the ur urban area that I'm living in is I'm doing hip hop. I'm brought around hip hop. So you know, with me being able to express myself creatively on and have that platform to do that mm -hmm. is a plus. That's you know, because you've got to be able to exercise, you know, your art mm -hmm. and. It's sad that a lot of these clubs, and we could talk about that too, a lot of these clubs, a lot of these club owners, you know, they put their own personal beliefs into it or they don't want to deal with, you know, 
the aftermath of that. And it's sad, you know, if you're an adult and you out these hip hop clubs and stuff like that, you know, just be responsible when drinking. Be responsible when going out with your friends and stuff like that. Know how to act in decency and accordingly. You know what I'm saying? So that we can continue to do what we do. We as artists can be able to express ourselves freely and creatively. Well, yeah. Not to cut you off, I ain't want to cut you off, but um, you know, most of the time it's not the hip hop shows with the violence. I was about to say that. It's I was about to say club. that. What about these other you shows? You know, it's the right, club. Right, right. Okay. But it, and also that too, you know what I mean? You got raves and all types of other parties and, and, uh, and events true, that go true, on true. where it's violence also. But from my latest, you know what I mean, understandings, I've never seen really no fights at a hip hop show at a concert. It's only just a Friday night at the club where it's just people just drinking and right. and, and close. Right. You know what right. I mean? Right. That that that's where the fights so, happen. So would you say would you say that um, basically you know with people so uh, the owners the business owners so afraid mm. to have these hip hop events because mm. I mean they'll shut them down. I know a couple because um, I have a lot of friends out in Little Rock, Arkansas. Shouts out to Little Rock, Arkansas. Mm. I have a lot of friends and uh, out there who would tell me like a lot of the that their events out there when it comes to hip hop events they like no 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 rap no rap we don't want no rap and it's like you know if you brought up on that what do you do what do you I know mean, I mean it could go any like I feel like you shouldn't just put that stigma on the hip hop show or just on rap because but it that is, can, though. it can happen at anything it though can happen at anything. if it we if we riding bulls. It, somebody could get mad and off the fell off the board and start a riot in the bar and they drunk. Mm -hmm. Like it can happen anywhere. That's mm -hmm. a fact. You know what I'm saying? So don't just like most of these shows in most shows that I'm involved in, that's everybody know each other. And that's what I want to say. We all like, know each yeah, other. Yeah, and if yeah. we don't, somebody that we know knows somebody that they know. Like it's I've never been and I'm, I'm talking ten years. Mm -hmm. I've never been in nothing that I was involved in and it got crazy, crazy every time I came out. Mm -hmm. It right, might be right, once. Right. And I probably could say a couple, I could count on one hand in 10 years how many times I've been in a scuffle in 10 years at a venue. Right. Right. Or you know what I'm saying? Right. Because right. we all know each other, so well, it's all but, love. But will you know y'all well, basically say, though, and can agree on that you do have a lot of owners who won't allow hip hop events? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. They really, really Absolutely. don't. I've seen Absolutely. messages. I've seen messages. I don't even want to say the name of the spot. On news already, channels, they, too. They already, yeah, this has been put right. out there. It was right. a whole message, yo. You know what I mean? I don't want no hip hop, no DJs. I don't even want no blacks. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, come on, man. Right. So, you and know that's what I mean? on you, though, as the owner, because you're losing money. Like, we the ones that's spending the money. Mm -hmm. And right. don't make us take it back to the parks. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. They're yeah. really going to be we back. And they ain't going to be none of that. We need a million dollars. We, 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 right. we, we right. should right. police ourselves. Yeah, <laughs> we right. should kill ourselves. Right. It's crazy. But the number to call in is 716-300-2170. You could call in, you know, ask any questions to Piff. You know, shouts yeah. out to Piv. Shouts out to Waverly Jones. You can hit him up. Yeah. Um, go ahead and get him your, your social media handle. Um, Facebook. Piffy Trilliums, T R I L L I M. My bad, my bad. See, this is what happened when I was smoking. T R I L L I A M Z. Okay. On IG is Piffy underscore Trilliums. That's it. Facebook and Instagram. That's it. That's All right. right. Oh, I do got a SoundCloud page. <laughs> right, right. You know, I'm going that too. Time I had, you can just Google Pippi Trilliums and then all that shit to come up. Oh, everything to come up. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, there you go. What about the social media? Oh here? man, so I got a lot, but um, basically, uh, you can find me Waverly Jones. Waverly, it's fourth quarter time Jones. That's my Facebook page. It's the personal page. You can also find my business page under the Round Table. That's D A R O U N D T A B L E on Facebook. Also, um, Instagram. Waverly Jones, 4456, four, uh, The Round Table Podcast on Instagram. Find me on Twitter also under The Round Table Podcast. You can find my SoundCloud, SoundCloud backslash The Round Table Podcast, you know what I mean? And we all over the board. I, I got a lot going on. But if you mess with me, email me, you know what I mean? The email is The Round Table, D A Round Table, all together, 716 at Gmail. You know what I mean? We can set up an interview, we can put it together, you know what I mean? Because we always working. 
And that's what's up. That's what's up. And as you said in before in the beginning, it's all about your hustle mm -hmm. and never stopping your mm -hmm. hustle. Yeah. And, and real quick, I'll just give a couple quick shout outs. Shout outs to Rebel Radio 716, you know, our hey, rocking band. Rebel Radio. You can catch my show, you know what I mean, every Wednesday at 11, Wednesday, Monday and Wednesday, excuse me, Monday and Wednesday at 11 p.m., you know what I mean, on Rebel Radio 716. Dot com or you can download the app Rebel Radio 716. Big shout outs to Queen Beauty uh, 716 Uncut. You know what I mean? She got the hottest video show popping. You know what I mean? Uh, my brother Piffy Trilliums. You know what I mean? Of course, SJ Live Online. We always shout you out. Salute. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Um, East Coast Connect. ID Rich. You know what I mean? And everybody. Endure yourself. Shout outs to you. Too. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I uh, saw so on my Facebook Live, Myra Robinson Moses. She said, Hey, hey, what's going on? What's going Myra, on? I appreciate y'all for tuning in to the Facebook Live. We interviewing Miss Piffy Trillums and we got, you know, guests, uh, uh, Waverly Jones. Thank you so much for coming in. And um, the number to call in is 716 300 2170. If you have any questions pertaining to the topics that we talked about, if you had any questions for Let's these two other gentlemen, you know what I'm saying? Talk, Let's about, talk, it. About, talk it. about it. Talk about it. But talk so, to me nice. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. A few announcements. We got the Utica Business Center grand opening Sunday, June 9th from 2 to 6 here at 11 East Utica Street, Buffalo, New York. Guest DJs, food door prizes, raffles, vendors, and more. Also, we have live performances by Ace High. They also have the first Buffalo Sneaker Ball. Which hosts Flashy Girls and Billy Esco on Saturday, May 18th. View Flute Music and Arts presents Buffalo Sneaker Ball with host sneakers, um, culture, influencer Flashy Girls, um, Courtney Hill, and artist Billy Esco at Imagine Event Center 71 Military Road. Um, What's the let name? me see. I don't know. Let me see. The Next Generation Festival of the Youth will be a beneficiary as well as a platform. I, I ain't even saying the name right. I apologize, y'all. <laughs> I told y'all I was tired. I told y'all I was tired. But say that they, they got, did, though. They said um, they got a festival August 25th. No, the sneaker ball. What's the date on that? I, the sneaker ball. They talking like it already passed. The sneaker ball already happened. Uh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. It already yeah, passed. Okay. But they did a, you know, overview over it. You know what I'm saying? So, so yeah. shouts out to you. You know what I'm saying? That. Yeah. I know. Oh, that's what I like, guys. <laughs> Hit me for the next one, you heard? I'm going to have some sneakers right. for you and all that. Right. Into the closet. You said what? I work with her and her mother. Oh, okay. Shout okay, that's what's up. Shouts out to Andre Robinson in the building. No, you already no. know, you know, CEO of, CEO of Rise Up Family. You know what I'm saying? That's how we do it. Yep. So, yeah, once again, thank you so much, Piff, for coming Absolutely. in. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Those few announcements. You know, like I said, I will be doing my radio show tomorrow from 12 to 2. You can stay tuned to my Facebook Live. You can find me on Facebook at Natalie Indoor Brooks. Or you can check me out on Instagram at Indoor, uh, oh my God, Indoor Fire Burning. And you can check me out on Twitter at Indoor Forever. That is N-D-U-R-E Forever. Or check me out on Snapchat, Indoor263. Uh, I'm on all social platforms, me media platforms. Um, I'm looking for a videographer right now, an in-house DJ for the for the um, television show that I'll be having, the Connect. You know, the uh, basically the television show. I'm going to be bringing on entertainers, artists. It's going to be lit. I'm going to be showing music videos. I want to interview the artists, and I want the artists to perform. You know what I'm saying? Let's bring that back. That whole. 106 at Parkfield, so I'm, I'm glad to be having that. Shouts out to DAP Entertainment, David Allen, for allowing me to bring that platform up. So that's our time. We're about to conclude this and wrap it up. We want to thank you so much. No, 10 minutes? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I don't know. He came in here and he like... Let's talk. Let's talk about it. <laughs> I'm real quick. Look, well, let me get some look, shout outs. Um, Go ahead. Get shout out shots. Wavy, man. Shout out the Round Table Podcast, man. Shout out uh, Queen Beauty. 716 Uncut. Mm -hmm. Shout out uh, Cat Rose. Dylan XL. What's the word? Um, Man, shout out! I, I go on for day. Shout out the Blue Boys doing their thing, man. Shout out, uh, shout out La Familia, man. Shout out FWP. Uh, shout out G4 Jack. Shout out uh, Flea Lord. Shout out AM Early. I, I could go on and on and on and on and on. But you know what I'm saying? Shout out everybody that's you know in tune 
and, and what's what's going on right now, man. Shout out to Endure for having me. You know, Thank this is you. this is definitely this is definitely something right I'm here. I'm the third person to interview him, y'all. I feel honored. I feel honored. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, and as I stated before too on Facebook, um, I just um. I just donated some of my material, like press clippings and stuff, because I've been in like 11 to 12 like magazines, okay. and I write for Lovely Lady Magazine now, and Independent Music Artist Magazine, so yeah. any artist that's interested in getting in the magazine, that you can sweet. email me at indoor26 at yahoo.com, that is N-D-U-R-E 26 at yahoo.com, I'm looking for musical vi videos, yeah. any music content, MP3s, you know, make sure it's radio edited and make sure it's registered. It's important. When I say register, that means with a performance rights organization, ASCAP, BMI, or CSAC, make sure that you register your music so that when a quarterly come up and that you get that paycheck in the mail, you know, wherever you perform that or if your music is played on, on the radio because we're aired on YouTube. We're aired on iHeartRadio, you know, with DAP Radio and also... You know, it's an FM station, so it's BDS registered. So make sure the music that you're sending me is registered, that it is copywritten, and that you own the rights so that we don't go into any legal aspects. You know what that is. It's very, very important that music artists educate themselves with the music business. You know, there's never a dull moment. Whenever I hear on social media artists mm -hmm. are bored, I ain't gonna front. I'm the first person to be like, how you bored? Right. There's so much you gotta right. learn. Yeah. Like, I mean, for real, for real. Yeah, it's a lot to yeah. it. But with the way the world is today and the way um, the technology has advanced itself, mm -hmm. it's give you an opportunity to go on business for yourself mm -hmm. where you don't need all these mainstream labels and That's stuff. Exactly. You can start off your own business. That's another important thing. Mm -hmm. Start your own business. Go into business for yourself. That's, yeah. your That's your hustle. Make your own money. There's a way of doing things and getting around and getting your um, music on these platforms. Right. And, more, uh, and do it all, listen, Do use all platforms as much as possible. Whether it's the Facebook groups, whether it's the Facebook shows and stuff, seven months, uh, you know, Rebel Radio, shouts out to Rebel Radio. Shouts you out know. to Big East Black, uh, Big East Blackout Radio too. Right, yeah. right, yeah. shouts yeah. out to all y'all, man. Shouts yeah. out to Promo Guy, Miss Stephanie uh, Marie. That's my homegirl out in Ohio. You know, um, shouts out to New Day Associates. They have an upcoming event coming up. They they give a platform for models and stuff to um to advertise their modeling designers to come on and advertise. You know, it's it's so it's so much to do. It, right, you know? it's so much to do, and there's so much out there that can help you to go to that next level. Mm -hmm. It's all about having that determination and that will to go out and get it. That's it. it. You, you gotta go I mean? out to get and it. And people, uh, you know, people that don't know is still sitting in they, you know, at home at their computers trying to figure it out. You know what I mean? We got so many people out here that, you know, extended their hand out to me, you, and, and Piff Day, so just to get more promotion. You know what I mean? Our podcast is, is a big platform. You know what I mean? I, I, I salute everybody that came through and, you know what I mean? And the people that are invited uh, up to recent now because after these re these next couple recent interviews, I'm charging too because it's all over the world. This promotion is real. It's not like I'm sitting at home right. and, and not working and not getting. Well, it's content, not even so you know much. I mean? I'm but, gonna cut you off, but it's not even so much that you know. And that's another thing I want to talk about too. I don't mind you know discussing a little bit about you know people be like, oh, you charging now, and how you gonna do this, and how you gonna do that? Let me tell you something. We get charged. Mm -hmm. So it's about it's about evolution and makes making the world go round money makes the world go round. i'm sorry and if we get charged to have these things up come and run in or have to pay memberships to have these shows that you come on to give you a platform man don't not me for sitting up here coming at you like yo you know what i'm gonna, I'm gonna need to charge you you know this amount of money you know, if you have it, you have it. If you don't, you don't. Mm -hmm. But if, even if you don't, you know, it's all about having faith in no, God. you got to have it because you have to invest in yourself. There's no that. way, yeah. no shape around it. You might make a miracle and, 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 have and, a and, 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 and have a, a split song that just takes off. It, it's, it's very slim to none. But you have to pay for what you want in this yeah. world. You know what I mean? That's right. Nothing comes free. But also, too, it's about... What you put in is what you get out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that goes along with saying investing in yourself. Yeah. You know, it's really important. Um, I didn't want to sound like I'm just like, oh, no, you don't have, you know, but, mm -hmm. you know, I, I'm a firm believer of God. Oh, yeah. Keeping him first oh, yeah. and everything else and having faith and, you know, basically praying upon a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because you'd be, you'd be surprised by the doors that open mm -hmm. when you put your faith in it. 
and and the, and the people that God will allow in your life. Mm -hmm. It'll be such as us where people will come to us. It's not about shutting that door on anyone. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm sorry. And you you have to you got to humble yourself too. That's Ooh. right. You gotta, That's before right. you do that, you got to humble yourself. That's right. Because a lot of people are not mm -hmm. humble, and a lot of a lot of things that happen um, turns out because people are not humble. And don't be afraid to ask questions. You know what I mean? That's the problem with people. Absolutely. They won't ask a question and just say, oh yeah, yeah, I know, I know, and then look foolish later on. You know what I mean? Ask right. questions because it can lead you somewhere. I mean, I, a lot of times I'm gonna talk to a millionaire and they say the same thing, just keep pushing, keep going. No, what did you do? How did you do this? You know what I mean? Tell me, right, right, right. give me some insight, you know what I mean? Right. But, you know, you just gotta keep working. <laughs> just keep working, keep hustling, keep grinding, man. Like you said, don't stop. Right, because there is levels and steps. Mm -hmm. There is levels and steps at, on how to pursue your career. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people don't know, mm -hmm. you know. Um, there's also platforms where they have um, um, conferences and stuff like that. And we also got a, a conference coming up soon, the Black Music Awards um, that's happening here in Buffalo. They tell you to network. Mm -hmm. They tell you to go out and, and work with these people and ask questions, as you said. Mm -hmm. Ask questions. Don't be afraid to open up and say, I'm sorry, I'm looking for the announcement, mm -hmm. rather, the advertisement. But they say, don't be afraid to open up your mouth. Mm -hmm. You know, don't. Don't. If it's something that you don't know and it's a peer, um, that you have near you, you know, because you never know if God send your way. And be receptive. Be right. receptive when somebody, don't feel that you're too big for any platform. Come on. Come you know on. what I'm saying? Right. Because if you're not receptive to what somebody have to say, how would you grow? Mm -hmm. That's right. How do you That's grow right. as a person, as an artist, as an entrepreneur, whatever it is that you have going on, you have to be receptive to one constructive constructive criticism mm -hmm. and also you have to be receptive to what somebody says mm -hmm. we might be the same age but I don't feel like I can't learn something from you just because we're the same age mm -hmm. or we might both be doing interviews but I don't feel like I'm above you because I've been doing interviews longer than you mm -hmm. or you know like I might can tell you something and you might can tell me something and we yeah. might can, we can improve that that's yeah. right that's right and that comes along with the fear of them getting bigger than you and everything else as I said in previous um television shows and stuff you know what God has for you can't no man take from you Absolutely. what's ordained for you God can't take from, I mean can't no man take from you mm -hmm. and if it's meant for you you know um you will have it Absolutely. you know what I mean and it's nothing wrong with giving that love back to people mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying when your time come it'll come because he will know god will know what's when you're ready for it you know everybody be so quick and looking at the line life and the fast-paced stuff that come with it understand this it's not all glitz and glory and there's consequences that come to those to those you know decisions that you choose to make as i said before when we was talking about with frank lucas mm -hmm. okay a lot of his money come from what those celebrities mm -hmm. you know you know mm -hmm. You know, you got to be careful at what you, who you choose. Oh, Angelique said, hey, Angelique Harris, shouts out to you, Angelique. She said, hey, Piff. <laughs> what up? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah I mean. So, no, you know, it's just that, you know, you got to be careful what you ask for. Mm -hmm. What you so. said, you funny. <laughs> so. You got to be careful what you ask so. for. Uh -huh. You really so. do. Yeah. You know, because you never know what you're running into. Uh -huh. Just be patient, like you said. Just be patient. Right. Your time will come. Wise man once told me, you know what I mean, it take 10 years for us to see the light of a star from where we stand. You know Absolutely. what I mean? So it take, it might take you 10 years to get your light. It might, but if not, you know what I mean, more power to you. You just had to step ahead of everybody. But other than that, you know what I mean, wait for your light to shine on you because eventually it's going to shine. You know what I mean? Like I said, I never knew that I was going to be all over the world starting from the platform and the place, you know what I mean, where I, where I started from. Right. But, man, my show is all over the world. It's global, you know what I mean? Okay. It's just thanks to the people, you know what I mean, from our city. You know what I mean, my bro, people like yourself, you know what I mean, just giving a, a, a hand, like, hey, Support. you don't gotta Support. sit, you don't gotta sit over there, come sit over here. I'm like, I was just coming to chill, but all right, I, you know what I mean, I talk. That's <laughs> so, right. Support. Support. I appreciate it. Right. right. The number to call in is seven one six three zero zero two one seven zero. Call in. Yes, All y'all watching on live, call in. Call in. Call, call in. in if you have any questions. Don't be funny. Mr. Piffy Trello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you already know, man. You already know. But shouts out to Piffy Trello. Shouts out to Waverly Jones for coming in to the office. Shouts out to the cameraman, Kurt. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. All right, all right. Yeah. Um, a few announcements. We have the Utica Business Center Grand Opening. Shouts out to DAP Multimedia Group. The Grand Opening is Sunday, June 9th.
from 2 to 6, the Utica Business Center here at 11 East Utica Street. Guest DJs, food, door prizes, raffles, and more. Any upcoming events, you can reach out to David Allen, CEO and President at 716-748-5977. They got the Utica Business Center grand opening. Also, shouts out to a True Enterprises, True Letter Williams. She has her event happening tomorrow, the uh, First Generational Curses, her art exhibit that she's having at 389 Peckham Street. You can reach out to True Letter Williams on Facebook. Also, too, um, shouts out to Miss Anita, Anita O. Williams. She has the the 31st annual um, and rally festival taking it to the streets happening August 17th through the 18th at Martin Luther King Park. It's free to the public, the whole park. You can join and go out with your family. You know, take advantage of these events. Take advantage of these events. They also got the Black Film Festival happening here at the Meriwether Library, you know, June 15th. Free to the public, um, 3.30, they got the Black Panther, and they got the Ac Black Panther June 15th, and then Acrimony June 29th. Those are the films that's being um, shot. Uh, you can, I mean, being shown. You can reach out to Iman, a.k.a. Sylvia Black, at 716-428-9892. Again, 716-428-9892. If you're interested in getting on my radio show, on my television show, you can reach out to me at 716 Oh my God, 716-622-1436. Or you can email me at Indoor26, N-D-U-R-E 26. I told y'all I'm tired, don't be teasing me. Indoor26 at yahoo.com. Send out your MP3s, your music videos. Man, shout me out. Check me out. You know what I'm saying? You want to get a radio interview, a television interview, or a magazine appearance in the Independent Artist Magazine. That's, that's based out in New York City. Shouts out to Robert and Doves. And also, you know... um. Uh, Brother Sheep, they are a part of an indie art magazine. You know, thank you for bringing me aboard. Shouts out to DAP Radio for allowing me to have my radio show. And Monday through Fridays, I try to do Monday through Fridays, the midday mix here on uh, WDAP Radio. Um, you can tune into my Facebook Live and Natalie Indoor Brooks. And my social, that's my Facebook, my Twitter, Indoor Fire Burn, I mean, Indoor Forever. And my Instagram is Indoor Fire Burning. Look me up, shout me out, check me out. Well, I did find my Twitter. Pippi Trillium's on Twitter too. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I forgot the password. I just got the password back. <laughs> Bro, right, right, right. Thank you so much for coming in. I appreciate you. You can go ahead and give me your social media handle once again, and then we're going to wrap that on up. Oh, sure. You know what I mean? Uh, just follow me across the board. The Round Table. That's D A R O U N D T A B L E podcast. You know what I mean? Around the board. That's Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, SoundCloud. Um, you can also follow me on my more personal page. It's Waverly. It's fourth quarter Tom Jones. You know what I mean? It, it's still the same because you're going to get the same information pretty much. And also um, Waverly456 on Instagram. You know what I mean? And if there's any artists out there that's willing to work or want to work with me, my Gmail is DelRoundTable716 Gmail because, you know what I mean, besides the podcast, I am a rapper and I am working on this new album right now. Hey. So, yeah, it's coming. Y'all rappers beware. Hey, <laughs> and I need a drop. Oh, yeah. You, know, you might be hosting. Listen, listen, listen. Everybody, listen. everybody. I'm a, I'm a, everybody right, I right. know better I'm, give me a drop. I'm, okay. I'm invading your studio. <laughs> I'm getting <laughs> chairs. I'm not chairs he over. He said he's going to studio. Well, I'm coming out, so if I don't stop you, I'll give you a job. Right. Look out, June 13th, mm -hmm. producer Kickback, East Coast Connect, ID Rich. June 15th, shout out my boy, Big East Blackout Radio. Um, Dane, salute to you, brother. I have an interview there on Big East Blackout, mm -hmm. June 15th, man, so tune up. in for that. Yeah. Tune in for a lot of other things I got going on. What's the word? Shout out to Cat, shout out to Dylan. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, just keep your TVs on. That's right. Keep that's your right. TVs on. Keep yeah. your social media open. Keep your TVs on. And um, again, Rise Up Family. If you're interested in getting on Rise Up Family, man, go ahead and hit up Mr. Andre Robinson or myself. I do the PR for Rise Up Family. If you want to get on the television show, which will be airing Thursdays at 11 a.m. on Channel 1302 and Sundays at 1.30 a.m., you can check out Mr. Pips. You can rewind and get the catch up with his interview that we just had Watch today. Watch both days, too. Right, right, right. Yeah. Thank you so much yeah. for coming yeah. in the studio. Yeah. Yeah. Man, appreciate you. We go Thank way you. back to the old days. Shout out to you. Oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. This hand, this hand, this hand. Nothing wrong with that. Thank you so much for tuning into the tip. I am your girl indoor. You already know how we do. Let's go, a. Hey.